Ladies and gentlemen, to the Wachovia Center, the Stanley Cup. The toughest trophy in all of sports to win. Two great teams competed for it. Congratulations to the Blackhawks and their fans, Rocky Wirtz, John McDonough, Stan Bowman and Joel Quinville and the rest of the coaches. These players brought the roar back to Chicago and now they're bringing back the Stanley Cup after 49 years. Congratulations. Jonathan Taves, come hoist the Stanley Cup. You knew he was next. And let's go down to Deb Placey. We've got Marion Hosa, I guess, third time's a charm. I'm so glad. Uh, I still cannot believe it. You know, like I can't believe the puck went in. Uh, I had to go ask personally the referee. You know, he told me the puck was in, uh, and after uh, the water relief. What did it mean to you that Jonathan Taze handed you the cup first? Uh, I mean, uh, that's that's huge. You know, uh, they just show you the character. Uh, you know, they knew. You know, uh, being here three times in the final. Finally, I did it, and he gave me the cup. Uh, the the best feeling in hockey so far. About 3:59 to go. You're so close, and they tie it up. What'd you think then? Uh, that was that was tough, tough moment, definitely. That was a really tough moment. Uh, but the win, you we cannot just hang our head down. We have to keep going because there was lots of hockey left. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, that's Marion Hosa. The wait's over. How heavy did the cup feel? I thought uh, it was pretty heavy, actually. You know, I fell on my shoulder, but uh, what a relief! Uh, I'm so, I'm so happy we finally did it. Were you concerned at all after they tied the game late in the third period that this wasn't going to end the way you wanted it to tonight? Well, uh, that was uh, th that was a disappointing moment, but we knew there was 3-3, still lots of hockey left, and we couldn't we couldn't uh, just uh, put our heads down. We have to work, and we knew you know well, we can do it. What's going on in Trenton in Slovakia right now? Well, I'm sure you know everybody's celebrating right now, and uh, it's going to be a huge party back home. Did you make the right decision coming to Chicago? Uh, definitely. Marion, congratulations. This has been an unbelievably difficult wait, and you deserve it. Way to go. Thank you, Pear. Appreciate it. Uh, Elliot's standing by with Brent Sopel, but uh, there's a great demand for people to talk to Marion Hosa, so we didn't want to let him get away. You said earlier, I think at the start of the final, you told a reporter that uh, the key to us winning the Stanley Cup is no speech from me. <laughs> what did you mean by that? Well, uh, I knew we were going the right direction. We had lots of good things going, and uh, you know, I'm not uh, huge like I don't like to sp speak. You know, I like to do everything on the ice. And uh, when the reporter asked me if I gonna tell something to young guys, I said, you know, there is nothing to be need to be say. You know, I just want to be quiet and uh, just keep working hard on the ice. Oh, I thought you were referring to the fact that you hadn't won it neither Detroit or Pittsburgh, and you didn't want to screw things up this time. Well, that's another thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, but this is what a relief. You know, after. After two years not winning and finally third, third time, uh, you know, win the Stanley Cup, uh, I'm so happy. Congratulations, Marion. Thank you very much.